guys, and welcome back to another edition of Provide Drop TV. We're out today at uh, Carriers Training Centre in Manchester, and we're coming today to look at a, a very special piece of equipment. And for me, it's a continue, continuing work towards sustainability, and this time it's road transport refrigeration and not just the, the standard electric vehicles and, and that kind of thing we look at generally. This is a game changer in, in the road transport refrigeration world. I want to try and just briefly run you through it and give you a feel for what this looks like and how it's going to make some serious impacts into the, the, the roads that we see and the transport we see in the roads going for tomorrow. So what have we got? Well, then on the face of it, we've got uh, a standard um, diesel refrigeration unit. And of course, and, and this, this is reminiscent of, of the, the Vector 19 uh, MT, um, of course, until you, you start to get onto the skin. Of course, this is a HD model. So instead of seeing um, what you would normally see, engines and uh, etc. inside here, it's it's pretty much a, an empty shell. Um, of course, there, there are many other things in there that will make the fridge operate and run. But I guess I guess from from my perspective, when you you've looked at a diesel fridges in the past, you open the doors, it's full, right to the brims, door to door. And with this. Um, which, is, which is pretty amazing. Scroll compressor, really, 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 really smart and well laid out. Of course, we'll look onto the, the gubbins a bit later on as we move, as we move through this. Of course, as you can imagine, it's quiet, no noise whatsoever, and really, really powerful. So let's look through this. So what we've got here is a standard Grain Adams trailer, and, and, and Familiarity of a normal transition trailer and refrigerator trailer really starts to change. And of course, under here, what we have now is the controlling units and the power. So, what we've got is a 19 kilowatt power pack, um, lithium ion phosphate batteries, um, which give you a much longer cycle and a much longer um, life on the batteries than, 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 than lithium ion cobalt. Of course, it's more sustainable as well. Now all of the, the, the gubbins and the accoutrements are in there. This looks low today, but because we haven't got a tractor under it and the, and the air suspension is, is down. Here is quite an exciting, interesting piece of equipment. And it's a, it's a plug, I know. But what this does, as you plug this in, it actually charges the battery pack and it actually powers the fridge as well. So if you were in your, in your, in your, your yard or a loading bay somewhere, you know, we can keep everything going and charged. So really, really, really good. Here is power shut off if there were to be an issue or emergency service as you're under action. Pushing that button kills all the electrical current and power. But normally you would have side guards on here. They've been removed today for me to have a look at the unit and, and, and talk to you guys about it. Single cable in, that can go into there. And, and the great thing about this, instead of using type two cables you would see on your electric cars and vans, it's a standard three phase power point. So you just see on here. The refrigeration unit as you would normally use, so making it easier to use for you. We should go the back here, and what we've got here is a, a Volks e axle. This is a nine kilowatt generator uh, and gearbox put together, driven from this side. And as it drives along, this axle is capable of keeping that battery fully charged. So as it moves along, it puts enough power in, and it's, it's regulated through the gearbox. So that, that is able to charge that battery pack as the power is being removed from it. So just to give a bit of feel for it as well, if the trailer wasn't moving and we're using batteries only from a fully charged environment, you've got enough power on there to operate that trailer for five or six hours, depending on the, on the, on the, on the load and, the, and what we're expecting it to do with a single or dual time operation. So looking at that, as this, as this vehicle drives along, the wheels turn, produces power, charges the batteries, the batteries then charge the refrigeration unit at the front. So overall, what you have there, because the removal of the engine, the gearbox, etc., what you really have then is the, the weight of that and the weight that's been removed gives you an overall neutrality on the weight that we see. So moving, moving further back and again moving around here, you'll see a standard trailer, nothing, nothing actually um, extra to look at, apart from the fact that it's a, you know, a really nice trailer and the combination works really well. Looking at this as a, a commercial and um, for an operator, this equipment isn't particularly cheap. 
But what it does do is on the front of it, you might go, oh, wow, that's, that's clearly a lot of money. But what we've been managing to do with a lot of companies is work through the full total cost of ownership model. So when you factor in that, you know, a standard diesel refrigerated unit uses about 2.85 litres of fuel per hour. That's going to be using it from day one. So as you work that through and you find that you're not putting fuel in, there's some real big, big numbers to work out on how cost effective this is going to be. Of course, some of the leasing options that are available today, taking this out to you know, seven, eight, nine, even 10 years, there are some, some interesting challenges and some interesting cost models to look at where we can, we can help with those. So ProGreen itself is fully involved in, in, in some of these concepts and we're, we're actually offering these, these, these particular pieces of equipment on contract time. And of course, the, 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 the Vector e cooler as it's branded, is joined up between the axle batteries and of course the, the HE unit. Now the HE unit itself is a standard unit that you can see on the cold stores and it's been around for quite some years and is an extremely efficient and effective piece of equipment. No, I guess I guess from 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 my concept, my, my piece on this is, is this unit when it's fully up and running operates at less than 60 decibels, so it's nice and quiet as well. So what you really have is some great sustainability. It's offering um, amazing opportunities for noise for delivering at night, and all of these good things when you start to see this working. Of course, for me, the brilliant thing about it, it gives us an opportunity to, to remove diesel engines from transport refrigeration chain and that's exciting lots of more to do i think i think with with, with everything that we show on on Polar truck tv and, and 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 what i love about it is everything's available on contract hour everything's available we can do but, you know whether you wanted to go down the contract hour or, or you just wanted more information i'm going to talk through some of the things that we've spoken about here today in a very short and brief moment we're happy to come out and and, and, and talk to you about all of the aspects of program go higher contract hire, alternative fuels, and all of those uh, interesting topics right now. ESG, CSR, massively important now for many companies, and something like this, right up there with that. So I hope you enjoyed our, our short uh, video today, and we're gonna put some uh, information into it as well, so you'll be able to get something from, from there you'll be able to see and read. Please could contact us if you want any more information on this, and we'd be happy to, to, to talk you through it, especially if this was joined up with one of our other videos, which is from Eco Drive, you can actually operate this, this unit on from that piece of equipment as well. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you can, um, and we'll see you very soon.